are you? It is, uh, where are we now? We're Monday. Yes, it's the Fumanic Psychic Show. It's the 20th of November already. We can see those uh, Christmas decorations getting out of their boxes. Uh, have you got your tree up yet, perhaps? <laughs> have, you, um, have you Have you got your presents in? Yes? Oh, dear God. Anyway, well, there we go. There we go. All these things we've got to build up towards Christmas. And I'm here to entertain you guys and just help you to relax and just take your mind off all the stresses and strains that are going out there in life. And uh, let's see what we can do. All righty. So uh, here we are. We're live. And uh, uh, it's you guys around the world. If you're in the uh, eastern seaboard, it's probably about two o'clock in the afternoon. If you're in the UK, it's seven o'clock. And uh, to you guys in uh, EU, it's it's about eight o'clock. Anyway, lovely, lovely, lovely to see you. Uh, during the show today, where um, there's a lot to talk about, especially with astrology coming up, uh, a few more video enhances, as you'll probably see as we go through the show. And uh, also there for you guys as well, we've got uh, live mini readings, uh, the uh, very nice little meditation for you as well, which is to attract positivity attract nice things like that so uh, looking forward to it good 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 and uh, Suzanne is already there she says uh, good evening a very good evening to you Suzanne I hope you're well hope you're having a very good evening yourself welcome to the show this show is for people who uh, like spirituality a little bit of entertainment a little bit of uh, gossip here and there as we see it coming through the world and uh, hello to Maria. And anyway, it says Re Maria. It's uh, Re Helmsley, brother. Yes, it's lovely to see you. Great, great, great. A lot of you coming in. Loads of lovely to see you guys. Uh, very good evening. And uh, uh, Rose Flower says, Hi, Phil. Hand pink waving. Yes, I, I sometimes get the little uh, button up here that shows me your, your uh, is all waving there. Great to see you. And uh, yes, I, I am very well, thank you. Very well. And uh, thank you very much indeed. Hope you're well too. And say he comes through, says, uh, hope you do well. I definitely am. And so is Heather. Heather wants to, uh, uh, Heather wants to say, looking well. And how are you? I'm, once again, I'm very, very well. So, guys, let's go and do a little bit of this. Let's go and get the show on the road. And uh, let's see what's in store for you guys. <music> Okay, so many of you, uh, so many, la, 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 I'll try and say that again in English. Uh, so many of you other guys coming in, it's lovely to see you. Uh, Sana Chabra says, hi, hi back to you. Uh, Invalid Expansions, uh, the wonderful Alex. Hi Phil, how are you? Excited for the show. I'm excited too, and there's so much, so much to tell you guys tonight. And uh, Claire Beacon says, hi Phil, and, oh, I just pressed the right button. There we go. Hi Phil, and uh, evening everyone. You're, you're just so friendly. You're just so friendly. Uh, lovely to see you. Good. Anybody else coming in here? No, that's it. Just a minute. And as I wait for everyone else to start coming in. Uh, right. Yeah. Joe says, can I have a reading, please? Yep. <coughs> Got all that. I'll be doing that a little bit later on. And uh, But first of all, though, um, a few things going on out there, guys. Uh, but some of you, you're probably going, whoa, life's on uh, maybe on the up a little bit. Some of you are having like, what is this crazy life going on at the moment? And maybe some of you are going, it's strange out there. It's very strange. Well, there are reasons for this. And uh, we're going to talk about that in just a second. But a very, very good evening to all. And I think you need a bit of this. <laughs> Guys, you've done well through the day so far, whether you're coming in the afternoon or the evening or wherever you are in the world. Um, yeah, just, just, uh, I'm, you've done very well. So you deserve a little bit of time out. Yes. Enjoy a cup of coffee, perhaps. Have some of this. Yeah, yeah just for you guys. Just for you guys. And uh, to help you guys feel feel great there, yeah. And uh, also, as I say, we'll be doing the astrology shortly and uh, telling you all about what's going on out there. So, um, yeah, good fun, good fun. Let's let's get on with it, shall we? Shall we get on with it? All right. Okay, uh, first of all, let's go to have a look at, if I remember how, oh yeah, this is it. 
yeah hello on this side and there's the astrology will that side yeah so it's a bit different tonight i hope you like the jazzy stuff here uh as you said it says now at this very moment in time where we are and the time is ticking so the clock is actually going to start moving the astrology clock and just to explain a little bit about what's going on now if any of you follow me on facebook uh you'll see there that uh uh, both on the Shaman and the Psychic and the Phil Griggs page, you will see there that these their moon cycles. As much as I talk about the moon, I also like to uh, share with you guys also what's going on out there with the other planets as well. And the two that have been uh, causing causing some alarm sometimes here is uh, if you imagine looking at this at the clock and about or oh, probably about five minutes past twelve, you'll see there about five minutes past twelve on the clock. That, that's it, just up there is the Sun and Mars. Now those two have been powerhousing together going through Scorpio, um, which is why sometimes some of you have felt like, uh, am I accelerating? Am I braking? How do I do things here? Emotions would have gone up, then they would have probably leveled back down again if you're trying to work this out. And Scorpio is quite an intense sign. It's a, it's a fixed sign. So when we have beliefs about things or power about things, we, we really feel it, guys, really feel it. So this is why, to, why in, in some respects here, so some of us may have felt we're going through challenging times. Uh, the good news coming up, coming up here, here at about half past 10, half past 10 there, you'll see a little circle in red, it like in red with a little cup around it, and uh, that's Pluto. And Pluto's in Capricorn. And it's uh, it's actually uh, recently came back into Capricorn, hang around for a while, and then went forwards. Then went forwards, and uh, so on it went. And it, well, what it's doing now is actually being quite powerful. It started to gear up with speed. We're going to find here the soon is as you see it there is twenty eight degrees seventeen minutes, um, as we see there in um, uh, uh, Capricorn. And what it's going to do? That's actually going to. It only takes about two and a half degrees. And then we're off on to Aquarius, where actually Pluto's been before. So do you recall back a time when you felt like a bit of liberation, perhaps? A little bit of freedom, perhaps? That was what Pluto was about. And the Sun and Mars, if you see these two, and, a, and a, the blue line connecting the two, that's actually a sextile, which is 60 degrees. And those angles there are full of positivity. It's, it's about, what this is about here, is sudden opportunities that may come up in front for you, which are going to go, wow, fantastic. It's not here yet. So don't, don't think it, well, I've missed it. No, no, it's, it's sort of still working there. Uh, the sun is coming up to this, so you may find some good news with money, maybe an opportunity, maybe something that you just think, I'll have a go at that, and it'll probably work out well for you, and all these positive energies. So it, it's nice. It's almost like, well, where did this little break in the clouds come from? And so it's, it's really nice. Yep, I've got your details there, guys. Erica, I can see everybody else coming in. Uh, yep, and I can also see Heather there. Yep, I can see all you guys there. Um, and also, also, what else is going on here? We then got a link, a very, very, um, quite a strong link, which is going to come on a bit later in the week, probably, probably about two or three days' time, uh, which is where the sun squares Saturn. And sometimes here we feel we get this break in the clouds, something positive goes and happens. And then what we there suddenly something pulls us back a little bit. That's what Saturn's going to do. Um, and maybe there's some responsibilities there or issues to go through. But don't get too worried about this. Uh, on the other note, the other note, what people may find they're going through at the present time is everybody talking about health. People talk about health, how well they feel, how well they're going here. And one of the energies or some of the energies which is coming through with this, almost like at five to midnight in yellow, as you'll see Mercury. And it makes this lovely link to Chiron, which is the symbol with the key, at about half past seven. Half past seven, quarter to eight. You'll see it there. Yeah, there it is. And uh, these energies here, this is about positivity with health. So maybe some good news is coming up. Maybe people are going to find here, ah, oh, that's, that's good. Maybe you find out information, which is, uh, you find out things which could be a little bit on the better side here. Uh, loads more to tell you, as you could probably go through the show and energies that are going to come up in front, but we'll probably see those through the cards there. But uh, just say, guys, hope you enjoy this little bit. i uh, like to bring you as much information from the skies as possible uh, that enhances your week. 
So this week, if you find opportunities, grab them. Grab them. They'll be good. They'll be very good. There's sudden break in the clouds here. And also what you've got here, then just uh, sometimes we've got a few issues or responsibilities, if I put it like that. We may feel we have to do it too. But don't think it's, uh, oh God, that break in the clouds is gone. No, it's all back to gloom and doom. No, no, no. There's uh, far more better energies coming up there. And uh, as we see, as we go through the next sort of uh, uh, few days or so, as we go through the week. But just follow me on Facebook there. You'll get all the Astro updates, plus a little bit more gossip too. Good. Okay. In the meantime, back to the screen here. And uh, yeah, just to say here, uh, right. Okay. Uh, Gabby wants to come through. Uh, sorry, just a bit quick. Gabby, uh, Gabby in <coughs> lives in Spissin. That's a nice place. <laughs> Hello from Spissin. Right. Oh, I know you mean Spain. Yes. And uh, also Deanne coming in from New York. And uh, Emma Moon comes in too. And uh, Toria too. Do Toria is in Belgium. And for some reason, I don't know why, but Toria likes tanks. She, she's got a thing about tanks, especially your, your Panzer tanks. I, I don't know why, but uh, she does. And uh, Thasby, Thasby, hello. Very, very good evening to you. It's lovely to see so many of you lovely people on tonight. Fantastic. Anyway, in the meantime, though, let's go and do a little bit of this. Yep, and you're going to have all the time in the world for your general readings coming up very, very soon. In the meantime, though, have a little bit of meditation. You might like this. You might like this. If you do this and practice this, uh, it may bring some a little bit of abundance your way. Hope you enjoy. Hello and welcome to this week's Power and Positivity. In this session, in this meditation, we were looking at attracting abundance and joy. All the things we wish for, all the things we wish we could feel, be and experience. Please don't listen to this recording if you are driving or operating any kind of machinery that requires your full focused attention. Instead, just find a nice cozy place just to relax and take a nice big deep relaxing breath. That's right, really feel that air coming up through your nose and going down into your lungs and filling your being with the most beautiful refreshing energy. That lovely air that fills your lungs just helping you to relax, help you to feel that abundance that's flowing into you already, that calmness, that peace. And as you breathe out, just letting go of what you no longer need, whatever it may be. You'll notice though every moment and every time we're breathing in, we're focusing on the now, this moment in time, however long a moment is. Notice too, as the air you're breathing in, just imagining there in front of your nose is the most beautiful pocket of air you've ever experienced. And that air that you're breathing in is filling your lungs with the most refreshing, relaxing, calming experience you've had all day. Just notice too how everything else is that goes on out there is just going on in its own normal way, allowing you to have this moment just for you. That's right, just allowing that air to completely flow into your lungs now with your next breath that you take in just notice too it goes beyond your lungs and flows out into your body all that refreshing calmness flowing through you helping you to sink lower into whatever it is you're sat on or laying on it's almost as though you're becoming part of it part of that calmness Part of that peace. Every muscle, every bone, every part of you just relaxing, releasing, and resting. But notice too as you're experiencing this, just seeing this now as a time just for you. I'd like you now to imagine you've just walked into 
a beautiful room. That's right, a room which has lovely colours on the walls, maybe some pictures of some kind. It's nice and warm and you can feel the warm temperature upon your skin. How nice it feels, how cosy. You'll notice in this room there's a glass screen. That's right, just imagine a glass screen and two chairs, one either side. Just noticing there yourself sat down in one of the chairs, just looking at this glass screen, just thinking of your time, your moment now. Maybe things have been difficult for you or challenging for you in some way. Well, that's right, just notice this, but you're breathing nice and calmly, nice and gently. And noticing now, seeing now, coming through the door, is the double of you. That's right, you have just noticed the double of you walking through the door and coming down to sit in the chair opposite you of this glass screen. And what you notice is, is captures your moment, captures you straight away, is how happy you look, how happy the double of you looks, rich with happiness and joy, laughter and being happy. Seeing that look in your eyes, the double of yours eyes, just seeing they're radiant and rich to life waving, happy, and full of happiness and joy. Just imagining how lovely it would feel to be like this. How wonderful it'd be just to be this double of you, looking at yourself there, so radiant, full of joy, happiness, love, and peace. It's almost there is no care to the world apart from enjoying your life enjoying your life. That's what the double of you is doing. Smiling, happy, and feeling radiant. Just how beautiful it would feel to have those experiences inside of you. How wonderful that could feel. To notice there that sometimes all we need to go and do is to focus on the things that are gonna make us happy. And maybe you're noticing this with the double of you. This is what the double of you is doing. Enjoying life, enjoying every moment. Seeing it in their voice, seeing it in their body language. Everything is relaxed, everything is wow. How to be like that would be amazing. Just noticing this, just taking this all in. This extraordinary moment, this extraordinary time, seeing the double of you like this. Now what I'd like you to do is just imagine standing up from the chair, standing by the side of the screen, the double of you does the same, and how you can reach out and touch the hands of the double of you and feel that happiness raging up through your arms and into your heart. Just feeling that joy, feeling that peace, that radiance there, just booming through you. And now embracing the double of you. That double of you's happiness, way of life, full of love, full of joy, and full of well-being. How radiant this is, how extraordinary this feeling is, as you feel this energy almost flowing into you just imagining how it could feel if all of this energy was inside of you and how every day it would feel if you were to take on this energy. And right now, you can. After three, I'm going to click my fingers. You'll notice the double of you merges into you. That's right. The double of you merges into you. One, two, three. There you go, the double of you merges into you. You feel the double of you's arms, legs going down deep inside of you, and your heart changing rhythm to this beautiful pace, this beautiful pace, and this beautiful feeling of abundance. And when you ask yourself, why is this so? 
Why is this so that the double of you is so happy and yet you've been struggling sometimes? The answer comes to your mind and to your heart very quickly. It's the way we look at things. It's the way we see things. We can choose whichever way we be and the double of you is now beaming and radiant inside of you. It's as though the double of you is radiating out so much from you, it's glowing like a beautiful aura of energy. And now you can take on this energy. You are this energy. You are this happiness. You are this peace and joy, full of love and radiance for life. Just imagining how it's going to feel in one week's time, still full of this love and joy. In one month's time, this love and joy. In one year's time, still radiant with this joy, with this double you inside of you. Choosing to look at life and feel life very differently. Taking in the colours of the world, the colours of the trees. The wonder of music, the beauty of love and this wonderful energy. And right now, this energy from the cosmos is with us. There's Mercury and Venus walk through in hand in hand this tangible signs of Libra and Sagittarius. This wonderful freedom of energy is flowing through us. And the secret is, for you, is to notice here we can change. We can be the happy person we want to be. We just need to feel it. Do it. Take action on it and be the wonder of you. I hope you enjoyed listening to this session. And now, back to you, Phil, on the show. Thank you very much. Hello, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you enjoyed that. I uh, thoroughly enjoyed making up that meditation for you guys. It's interesting, isn't it, where we see the double of ourselves projecting to ourselves in total happiness, total bliss and taking on that energy, taking on that abundance there. And uh, yeah, I hope you, hope you uh, if you find that useful, fantastic. Thank you very much. Um, guys, guys, what do you think of that out there? What do you think of it? Wow. Oh, good. Fantastic. Now, uh, I, think it's, uh, I think it's time. Uh, we're just going to do a few things now. Uh, yes, sorry, I was going to answer the phone. Yeah, yeah. Oh, right. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, apparently, it's time for general readings. Yay, guys! Yay, guys! Let's take them at the top. Let's work from the top and go through the bottom here and see what comes up here. First of all, we've got Joe Gardner who comes in first of all and says, If possible, can I have a love reading colour red, please? Thank you very much. Now, in these sessions here, I'm going to be working with three things A, the cards, B, I'm also going to be working with your aura colours, and three, I'll be working with the mediumship. We'll see what the spirits bring through as well. I've been um, opening up to the spirit world for a start of the show. And uh, Joe, first of all, let, let's go and have a, a little look at this here. Now, um, first of all, what I'd like to pick up from the spirits is, first of all, here, I've got a very nice lady here, big M to do with her name. In her name, she's just come through right beside me, and she wants to say to you, would you understand here, in a sense, a little bit of a, a love triangle going on? Is there a little bit of complication here? Would you understand here that your heart is... Am I in this? Am I not? Which way are we going? Would you understand this strangeness sometimes that goes on in our world? And uh, yeah, and she's saying to me here, she says here, whatever the situation is come up in front of you now, she says here, sit back, sit back, she says here, because the big part I think you're going to find for yourself um, is that you are going to see uh, is those who come towards you, those who really want you to come towards you. Those are the ones who are going to make you feel that you're really, really wanted. And uh, red is an interesting colour you've chosen. The aura colour that I see you with is orange. And uh, uh, but, but I'm merged to two. I'm merged to two on this here. And one of the things I see with this here is, which is uh, quite abundant, is um, the uh, the orange is very excited. Very, very, very excited. Oh, this is happening. That's happening. This could happen. That could happen. But... Uh, Whoa, just slow down a little bit. Let love come to you. There's also going to be news of a baby. 
There's also going to be news of complication as well. It's uh, to do with another girlfriend, uh, girlfriend around you, Joe. And uh, uh, but let's say complication. I just feel a few few issues maybe going on there that maybe you're called to hand with. Um, but uh, let's have a little look here. I'm going to see what the cards say. What they put around us for you. All right. I'm going to go for the left pile on this and see what they say. Um, Yes, I pick up here, you've got some choices to make. And I've just been told to you as well, Joe, go and have fun. Go and have fun. Don't go too serious about things. Don't put your heart into everything right at the very moment. You've got the moon card here, first of all, which is a bit like, I don't know where I am in this. I'm not sure what's going on. Is there some sort of, is it clear? Is it not? Uh, we've also got the seven of cups. So you're trying to make choices about things. Do I? Don't I? What's the best way to go? But the answer comes up and says here, there's going to be news. Um, there's going to be news, which is going to shock you in some respects. Um, which is, yeah. So I guess some news is going to shock you, but it is also good though. So good though because it helps you to see exactly where you want to go. But uh, and I feel you're going to be enjoying yourself. Uh, put yourself in the party spirit without getting too serious about things. I think that's probably a good way to go. Right. Okay. Thank you very much. And thank you very much. That right. If the expansions, Alex says here, reading for my kiddos, please. Color green. Uh, right. Okay. Whoa. Yes. Um, I would like to answer this and go into this. Um, would you understand here that your son, would you understand, first of all, your son is like, um, I want to go that way, that way, and then I want to go that way, and then I want to go that way. I just pick up here very strong energy that sometimes feels is like a little bit on the erratic side and uh, but would you understand here about one of your children who is not really wanting to perform at uh, school perhaps at school for example here if I was to say here one of them's not wanting to put all their attention in and the school teacher's going mm, come on now and maybe you are too and uh, I feel though I feel though for your children, one of one of your children is probably your daughter, probably your daughter here that I pick up, is uh, going to absolutely excel. Yes. Um, right. Right. Because uh, I've yeah, got very strong energies here about this. Would you understand one of them almost having something like, um, and I'm not naming this, but I'm just giving the ideal, like ADHD, which is like high energy. I'm not saying they're labeled as that. I'm just saying here to give the example of high energy and uh, very, very strong um, uh, patterns of behavior. I see those there and sometimes you're thinking here, did I order this? <laughs> Thanks heavens, did I order this? Of course you did, because they're great. Um, but uh, I also think here, your daughter will follow you. Follow you. Yes, your daughter will follow your path. Now, if I looked at your children here and see where we're going, I'll take the middle pile on this. Um, I feel here one of your children is going to go supersonic, supersonic regarding education and learning. No problem there at all. Will actually enjoy going away. Very adventurous. Very enjoy here. One of them's not going to, um, uh, one's also not going to want to participate, feel like they're being pulled back in some way, or not pull themselves back a little bit. And, uh, and I feel here too, sometimes you're like, am I worn out or what? Yes, well, okay, the story of uh, growing up with children, I guess. But uh, I feel here though, when I look at this, it's uh, you've got one of the children that's going to do sensationally, sensationally well. The other one performs later, especially when they sense the colour of money. Mm, definitely, yeah, I really feel that one. Right, uh, Maria says here, colour bright green and a general, please. Bright green in general, bright green. Bright green to me means means it means a couple of things here. And actually, if I look at your aura colour here, I see a blue and a green. Um, I'm going to work with this um, tank and put this all together and say to you here, would you understand if I said to you here that sometimes people really disappoint you? And when I say disappoint here, because it's almost like it's what you're doing is one thing, but what maybe other people do back for you disappoints you disappoints you because it's like uh, have we got shared values here or not and uh but i feel though with the blue and the green coming up here 
It's about you standing your ground a little bit. It's about you being stronger in yourself, grounding yourself, grounding yourself here. And the greener part about you is also to do with two different type greens. You've gone bright green. This is a deeper green. And this is to do with I'm healing. I am healing. I'm sorting myself out. I'm taking things step by step. And I'm being, um, I guess I'd say, I guess even you would say this. I've got a lovely lady here comes through on your mother's side of your family. And uh, what you're being here, I feel, is being emotionally more mature with yourself. And I don't mean that in a patronizing sense. I feel it is almost like something you would have discovered for yourself. You really feel this energy is uh, stronger there. I also feel here too with this, you may all start looking for a new job because I'm being told about this, a new job. And I'm also picking up here, there is a possible look to go on a holiday which has got something to do with a caravan or static static caravan. And, um, and there's a lot that's going to come up for you coming up through the next few months, including where you're going to live and how money is going to change things abundantly for you. Yes, I really feel this. Now, if I look to the cards here, regard to your question, just a general reading for the future with the color green, I'd like to go for the right pile on this. And let's have a little look. Happiness. Happiness coming into your own self, coming into your own heart, own heart here. But it's been a struggle. But this five of swords here, five of swords is reversed. And when I feel like this, it's like the struggle was back there. It's not with you now. But what I pick up with this, though, is it sometimes just has a bit of an issue with you. And you are going to be very honest with yourself, with the justice card here, of what is right. What is right? What really makes sense? What is the way forwards in your life here? Especially when it comes to your personal life. But the good things that can start coming up in other areas, such as travel, as I say, with uh, going away, and uh, a good news of job, and the uh, colour of money will be uh, very good for you. You'll, you'll be doing all right. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I'll give you one. Thank you very much. And we have, from Belgium, we have Erica. Erica's come in. She says, hello, reading about business and living future, please. Thanks. Okay, I think we'll give you one of these. Erica. Yes, a little hoot. Okay, good. Right, Erica, uh, reading about business living in the future here. Right, okay. The first things I pick up here, which I get from the spirit world, straight for you, is whoop, 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 slow down. And I don't mean things have got to come to a stop. I think it, it's about the way things are thinking. Be very aware over the next few weeks or so about opportunities that are going to start to unfold and you don't want to miss out. And the reason why I say you don't want to miss out, because in some respects here, what I see <coughs> as I go through my crystal, what I see here is I feel that there's going to be some brilliant opportunities that are going to come up. But you have to look a little bit deeper. You initially may think here, oh, no, I don't want to do that. Oh, no, I don't want to get involved in that. And your crystal here is saying the spirits that I'm feeling around you is to say here, you're going to be very happy if you were to do this. There's a very nice man here who's also coming from the spirit world here, wants to connect with you. A very, very lovely man. He wants to give you a round of applause. So something good has already happened for you. Something, uh, something was going to make you feel happier. And uh, and I also feel here too that, um, right, okay, he just tells me here, you're not going to put up with crap. <laughs> no, no crap whatsoever. It just looks like uh, I feel here you'll be on a, on a good run, a very good run. Right, okay, so don't miss out on opportunities that uh, you've got a second look at things. And I think then you'll go for it and it, it looks good. There's going to be news of a property on a business property and it's going to go well. Initially here you think, don't know if I could do this, but it does go well, it does go well. It's going to come up for you. And uh, so you won't be in the same location where you're at at the moment. You're going to move. Wow. And that's business wise. That's business. Um, I'm going to take the right pile on this and see where we're going. You'll look at money and first of all, <coughs> First of all, you'll think here, this isn't going to happen. Things aren't going to go as easy as they, as they seem. That's just at the moment. You're looking, you're also looking at family stuff around you, which is not your immediate family. It's outside of the family here and seeing stress there. 
yeah, unfortunately, I see this a little bit. But uh, I feel, though, for you, you have got a far better time coming in front of you, um, especially when you start looking at opportunities. Do, do look at them. And uh, it may not see by that initially, but it will get there. You will get there. Right. Thank you. Uh, Claire Meekins, please can I have a mini reading, color red and general as always. Thank you. Yes. OK. Here's a mini one. Is the mini one that big? Um, right. First of all, what I'd like to say to you here, Claire, is um, <clears throat> right. You're at the point where you're going to put your foot down and it's not the foot on the brake. It's your foot on the accelerator. Yes. This is where you're going to run power ahead in your life in front of you. And I feel something's going to come up within the next two weeks that's going to make you feel very proud of what you're doing. Very proud here. It's almost as though you've been holding yourself back, guarding yourself in some respects, and these energies will change. And you're going to find yourself in a far better place. There's, um, there's, there's, a, very nice, there's a very nice lady here, and there's a very nice man. The man here says to me here, he knew you as a friend, but he was a very old man. And uh, as I'm picking up here, he he had a very strong London sort of tone to his voice. I just pick up something else here. And I also pick up from here. There may well have been a G to do with his name, you know, like Gary, for example. Um, he's here and I've got a lovely lady as well who also wants to come over. I give thanks to those coming over. And their blessing to you here is, what well, they'd like to say to you here is, is um, you're about to come to... A, um, you're going to see things very clearly. It's almost like you've had smoke screens put up in front of you. No, you'll see things very clearly and you're going to know exactly what to do. It's almost as though you would feel that people have been, or a situation has been a bit clouded, or people in clouding a situation. Um, but uh, this will become very clear and you'll like what you see. Mm -hmm. Right middle pile on this let's go for this and see where this comes up here right um ah yes now you feel like you're not getting anywhere quite possibly quite professionally maybe there's a bit of a hold up here and you feel with this the hangman you feel very stuck stuck mm, things aren't going anywhere then all of the sudden bang comes your luck card which is the Nine of Cups. I love this card. It's all about the energy of uh, love and abundance of good things coming your way. And I also feel here you're going to have some nice propositions coming. Whew, after that, I think I need a drink. Mm. Okay, right. Um, say, say, I think I pronounced this right. Say, uh, says, love reading, please. Feeling red. Feeling red. Okay, right. Um, if I tune into your energy and really pick up this, ah, you got white. Your aura color is white. This is new beginnings. Whole new starts here. Would you understand here the red also resonates to anger or anxiety or stress about your love life, which has been in the past? It's not now. The white aura around you that I'm feeling with you here, as I look through the crystal as well, is very much about a transition to the new. And I feel here, it's like you're stepping out into the, your new self. All the old shackles around you, you are releasing. And I feel there's more of a spiritual side coming out of you too. It's like, this world isn't so bad after all. Maybe maybe life, the way you're tuning into vibration, life around you is looking better. But if I look to your love life around you, it's going to be very interesting. Because I think it's not about you needing to chase guys. I think guys are going to be chasing you. And I think here, what you're going to look at is uh, who's who's just all that and who's really genuine. And I think you're going to know that very, very soon. I think here that uh, some good news here. And would you understand a gentleman who passed away almost, uh, we're almost in the time period that he passed away. It's just coming up, I feel. There's a gentleman who's with me. He says, I passed away around this time of year. It may have been last year or it could have been even five years before. But he just wants to show me here, this is quite an important date. And he wants to say to me here, he says here, that you'll be able to see things very clearly. And um, he, he says to me here, you do deserve, and you know you deserve, a really good um, ambient life. And, uh, or yeah, a good healthy life, a healthy rich life in some respects here. 
and he's telling me this he says here you're not going back to the past you're going to the future and you're getting rid of the ones who seem to know what's best for you no you're you're going to know what's best for yourself not what people try and tell you and as i look through the cards here too uh look at the third part here for you i just feel that one is going to be a good one um yes yeah, stuck from the past here it's almost like i want to feel like i'm loved i want to feel like i've got some people adore me people love me here and then you're learning you're learning spiritually and emotionally to connect that love is not just love between ourselves it's also love to the divine and it's the love of the self and that's what's going to change things around you and you're going to be in a new relationship and you will not be living where you're living you are going to be going abroad have fun i think you'll enjoy it <laughs> right okay uh suzanne says here uh, suzanne Caminelli says orange general please orange general okay so as i look at this energy here around you suzanne the first energy i'd like to say to you here and i think it's a very nice one is uh, <coughs> uh orange is um it's peach and pink peach and pink are the colors here peach is is uh, okay we're not far away off it with, with orange here but i've merged your orange in as well the orange here is about I want life to be happy. I want life to go out there and be great. I want things to be fantastic. And yeah, I think they will be. I think you'll have a very, very ambient time. What I also feel here for you though, and I see this coming up, is I feel here that uh, that there's probably gonna be a cooler mist of air coming into your life very soon. It's almost like, why do I need to rush around so much? Why do I need to be so um out there doing everything for everybody else and sometimes I need to focus on myself and that's where the pink comes in because it's about self-love and it's about being kind to yourself and it's about embracing this nice energy and the peach and the pink i like it i like it i really do i think you're going to have suzanne ah, a little bit more of a calmer time um i've got a gentleman here who says here that used to work with big engines big engine whether it's steam engines or, or um, traction engines, whatever this was but I got a man who used to work with big engines and uh, he's just coming in to show me here he says here that he's very much looking at you at the moment and uh, his his message to you here is is that uh, there's a lady up there in a the spirit world you want to know about she is absolutely fine and uh, I get a finial cancer there's a he just told me here to say this to you and uh, so I think sometimes here we sometimes need that message as well so he wants to say this to you. And uh, he also wants to indicate here, he says here that, um, uh, I, I'm, are you living near the sea yet? You, you, you want to go near the sea? Would you understand this, Suzanne? You want to live live near the near the coast because he's given me the coast for you. And uh, and would you, would you understand here that you'd like to do a job which is by yourself more? More sort of by yourself. And I think that energy is going to be, um, be very, very nice as well. Um, big change of life coming up very big change of life and I think that that's going to be a nice nice energy oh my goodness you are going to learn so much over the next sort of uh, few weeks or so um, about you about life and everything you're going here with this lovely page uh, the page of rods and um, uh, but also here this is a bit to be a bit mindful of here you then got the devil and the devil doesn't want me to say that some horned monster is going to come tearing into your life. No, definitely not. What this indicates to me here to say to you, Suzanne, is uh, please don't take yourself too seriously. Don't. And you can be determined, but not to the point it's extreme. And I feel here to enjoy your life that way a little bit. And I think here you'll probably see life going in even happier. All right. Okay. Um, Heather says here, uh, if possible, may I have a general reading, please? Colour indigo. Oh, indigo, that's a nice one. Uh, thank you, kind of your blessings. That's very nice. Okay. Um, now, one thing I see here, Heather, first of all, is I look at this, as I look at the, this energy around you, is, um, uh, right, I've got light blue. Light blue comes with this here. Light blue is learning. Light blue is about learning. It's about being, um, uh, seeing, sometimes not being, uh, impulsive it's about being uh, more let's say grand being more sensible with yourself and and I also pick up here too there's two ladies here and they were both sisters one I think was a grandmother the other one was a sister but they're both here and it's the sister that I'm talking to at the moment 
and, uh, and there's a lady here who's got a letter Y in her name, like Yvonne, for example. It could also be another name, but I'm just picking up the uh, letter Y. And I'm picking up here too, uh, you're going to be, she tells me, news is going to be coming to you and you're going to be responding to news. It's people you have not spoken to for a very long time, perhaps. And people are going to be in correspondence to you. And I think you're going to be like, oh, this is uplifting. This is good news. And I think here you're going to go through those phases as well, Heather, um, which I really pick up by your intuition, is you're going to think of things or dream of things, then they're going to happen. Don't take that lightly. Don't take that lightly here. You really are opening up there, Heather, and I think you've got a great energy. So absolutely lovely. And if I looked at the cards here, left, middle and right, let's have a look here. Um, you may feel stuck in a particular situation around you, which has caused you a lot of stress. This is so interesting, everybody, at the moment. All the, Some of the cards for the current time is showing, I'm getting over stress. I'm getting over stress here, getting over difficulties. Sometimes it could be health. It could also be a little bit to do with the practical sides around you. And you're almost wondering, where do I go? What do I do? How do I sort my life out? Bliss. It all comes to you with the, uh, the, the Ten of Cups. It's all going to be worth it for you. And I think here, what you're going to be surprised about is the people who love you. That's very nice. All right. Okay. Uh, Erica, just read for you. Rose, let's go and have a look at Rose. Uh, I love your little uh, thumbnail there. Uh, general reading, please. Um, orange color. Rose. Rose, Rose, Rose. Rose, very nice energy here. Because what I'd like to say for you here, looking at this, is, um, is I feel that you're... Your, your situation here coming up over the next sort of um, uh, few weeks or so, at least. Uh, if I looked at the color orange, I think it's a very nice ambient color. Uh, for general reading here, I feel here, um, I would get involved in everything you want to go and get involved in. Go out there and do everything you want to, because your energy is very different to some other people who are reading for, uh, reading for earlier, where they need to sort of, whoa, bring it down a bit. No, yours is about... Go out there and do it. Explore. Go for it. You're going to be taking risks. But they're sort of calculated. So you're right there. And I feel here that your next few weeks in front of you are going to be quite exciting, to say the least. And especially with the lifting energy of good people being around you. I'll just pick up it's good. Um, the orange, uh, what I also pick up with this, though, is part of your energy. It's very red because it's going to be very determined. You're going to be very, whoom, very straight down the line there. And there's a lady here who wants to come over. She says here, she brings me the book. The book is the Bible. She was a very religious lady who was connected to you, Rose. She's opening up the Bible here. And she says here, my goodness. Okay. Opens up the book and the dove flies out. Freedom. Freedom, love, spirit, all of it. Lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Um, Rose, so what I'd like to do here, just looking at your cards, just... Uh, cut them into three piles for you let's go and look at the left this time um right yes okay go and enjoy yourself go and have fun times you'll be uh coming out of a time in your life here when you felt like kind of sort of ah, quite restricted in some respects and then the next card that comes up for you is lovely it's about enterprise it's about great things coming up ahead but you will leave a business or a venture behind you you'll let it go because I feel here there's going to be something more exciting coming up for you, which just looks like, that's me, that's me. Rose wants something more exciting. And I think that's going to come up here. There's also Westy up here. There's a Westy. <coughs> that's a dog, by the way. In case anybody else wants was West, where's West? <laughs> no, Westy is a dog. Right, good. Okay, brilliant. Um, Santa says here, future love reading, please. Uh, and a colour pink. Colour uh, pink, I think that is. Yeah. Uh, a color, yeah, I think it's pink. Um, right, okay. Uh, future love reading, future love reading here. Right, okay. Um, the loves that come into your life will not be from people local to you. The loves that come into your life will be at a distance. They come from far away. So they should. They said they're not on sailing ships and pirates and uh, one eye patch and a parrot on his shoulder no 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 don't don't worry not quite like that but i feel though sally you're going to be uh, love comes to you 
uh, from a distance. And I pick up here that um, you'll get a very strange invitation coming up for you. Someone says, I want to meet you, I want you to fly to me. What? And it's, always, it's something bizarre. You've got a very bizarre issue coming up here or, or a situation coming up to do with your love life here, which I feel will work abundantly for you. Um, or at least you'd be very intrigued intrigued here. And it's someone I feel here who um, will you'll chat to for quite some time. And he really wants to show you here, he's a quite a worldly guy, quite uh, sees life very differently. And he really is looking for a partner, looking for a partner here. He's he's successful, he's done well, he's everything like this, but he hasn't got a partner who understands him. Santa, I think you may find that quite intriguing. But there's another guy that's also going to come into your life here um, who's more of the action guy, I think, in some respects, you could look for. Yeah. Um, and I feel here, too, to say to you here that I've got... Uh, Oh, I've got a lovely lady here who's passed over, but she's right behind me. A uh, lovely lady wants to come through and just sends her blessing, sends her love. Um, she says to me here, she's, oh, I know why she's doing this now. She didn't believe in any of this, in this, this stuff here. And it's, she's on her mother's side here. So she's quite strong in her opinions here. And she says here, I'm looking into this here. She says here, avoid the men with the drink. Avoid the men with the drink, she says here. And I think it may be something you have seen more recently. And she says to me here, she says here that, uh, yeah, you'll get married. You'll, you will get married. Yes. And if I looked at your cards here to say where you're going with this, at the present time, you feel very blocked. You feel very locked into things. You can't move forwards. And it feels like, why am I bothering? I agree. Why are you bothering? Why are you bothering? I think here that you'll find... Uh, Good things are coming your way here, and it will have a work connection somewhere. Yes. All righty. Good, good, good. Um, Emma Moon comes up here and she says, Hi, Phil. Uh, hope you're good. Yeah, really, really well. Thank you. And uh, Emma, lovely, lovely for, to see you on the show here. Thank you very much for joining in. Um, first of all, what I'd like to say here is, is I feel the energies that are going to be with you over the next sort of uh, few few weeks or so, um, I think you're going to be working with you if I get the right colour here. Right, there's a silver. There's a silver in your aura here. And a silver is about skillmanship. <coughs> Would you understand here that you're thinking of taking up um, a job which could have you working as a skilled woman? Now, it doesn't mean to say here you've got to be um, have an apprenticeship in something going this way. It's something you're going to be doing. <clears throat> which I think you're going to really enjoy, really enjoy here. But you will see a skilled woman here. I also see here there's a legal process or something that's going on in front of you. It's not something that says I'm going to be in handcuffs or something like that. No, it's just, uh, you know, one of those political things, step by step things here. I feel it's going to be be like that a little bit. And uh, but I feel that's that's where things, things are going to go. All right. Let's have a look here. I'm going to take the right on this. And uh, so we're going. Um, yeah, there's there's a particular job or situation that you want to do, which is sort of, uh, which is new in the air, new in the air here. Um, again, it sort of feels like you've got a, because um, you've got enterprise here. You've got enterprise, you've got good energy, good energy with a new project. Um, but you're you're sort of stuck with, a, with a, something that doesn't seem to move. And it feels like, but I want that to work. I want it to go well. And it just doesn't seem to do anything at the moment. Emma, I'd say for the time being, just keep that on the back burner. But go with what works. Go with what works now. It's going to make you feel a lot, lot better. All right. Uh, Gabby. Gabby comes through from Spain. And uh, she says, hello. Ah, right. OK. Uh, I'm just looking. OK. Looking for the first one. Yes. Uh, Thasby. Thasby. Uh, general reading. Okay, really I need a colour, but I'll just take this as the first thing I get here. That's me. What I'd like to say to you here is, would you understand here that your life has been leading, leading your life in some respects here? Would you understand the old style, the old style of living? Like, for instance, being in a house which hasn't been modernised maybe for, uh, I don't know, five or ten years, for example. And would you understand wanting to modernise your life? Would you understand about what to change this? Is, uh, there's white and there's a bit of pink in your aura, which is about love, like a bit more hope, a bit more love and light uh, to come through for you here. 
And I'm also picking up here, would you understand younger people who have passed away? I'm, uh, one of them may have actually taken their lives. One of them may have taken their lives here, that's me, but I feel here there could be someone, there's someone here who says to me here that this happened, but I also get younger people here for whatever reason. They're not showing me at the moment. Sometimes they don't want to um, show me in the past over. But I just want to say to you here, they're okay. They're okay over there. And they, they want, okay, they can do this. They can be a big thumbs up. So that's me, whatever you're doing, get on and go enjoy it. Get on and go, go and enjoy yourself. Right. Okay. All righty. I've got uh, three piles of uh, cards. I've got to take the middle on this. And let's, let's have a look here. Right. <coughs> You've been through a stress and a difficulty has been holding you back. You've got to modernize. Change the way you're doing things. Change the change your style. And you, you're, you're going to find happiness here, Thasby, and you're, you'll be fine. It's getting out of the old way. Um, I also hear, uh, let's say to you, Gabby, um, cover general reading, my color is blue. Yes, absolutely. Uh, Gabby, what I pick up here, I've got a very... Um, I've got a gentleman who used to walk a dog, and um, he's he's a very happy man. He's just almost like he's whistling here. And I also see a paint pot. So whether he liked his DIY or whether he's a painter, uh, this is one thing I get with him. And uh, and also what I'd like to show to you, what I'd like to say here is, is with all this abundance of energy that uh, is, is coming from this guy here, he says to you, would you understand sometimes you are so wise, you are so wise, you really get it. You really get life at times here. And he's telling me this. And he says to me here, you'll be there as a decision maker, not just for yourself, but for other people, because they see you as very wise. And I think here that people will listen to you. And I think people will come back and thank you. So uh, that that's going to be very nice there. And uh, just quickly, there we go. Can't just take these ones. Um, I, I also feel here that maybe you felt here that emotionally things haven't been particularly easy. We've been, oh, crikey, hard going. But I feel here, decisions about your happiness in life are coming up. You'll make the decision, yes? All right, okay. Uh, that's what we've been, okay. Right, Ashok. Um, message, um, a message from uh, my father, if possible, for me. Kind of a, okay, Ashok, Ashok. Um, would you understand here, would you understand money loss, please? Would you understand money that was supposed to come to you? Would you understand, Ashok, if I said to you that there's something here about this? And also, I would like to say to you here, would you understand here that um, he's um, he does want to say a little bit of a sorry to you? And would you understand if I said this, that uh, maybe things got very confusing before he passed away, but he wants to send his love. It was the abundance here. And also here, would you understand about the younger person, Ashok? Like someone very young, a very young being in your life now, like uh, yeah, child, the child, someone being in your life here. Because he wants to indicate this, and he also wants to let me know here, he's just booming with love. He's sending his love. And um, he says to me here, he says here, it's not quite right yet to go and do, uh, I believe, a home move that you want to go and do. But he sends his love. And also here, I think someone stopped smoking. I think someone stopped this. So good. And I pick up here. Great. Um, that's been just reviewed. Deanne, uh, general reading. Can I, am I doing here? Right. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. <coughs> right. Uh, let's have a look here. Let's go to. Uh, sorry, I just lost the plot there. I just wondering where I'm going to. Ah, Deanne. Uh, yes, Deanne. Um, is the time for a general reading, please, Yellow? Yellow, I'll do this very quickly because uh, we're running out of time, but also Chelsea, I will get through to you. Um, yellow, I love this colour. I love this colour. I totally resonate this colour with you. That's the colour you're going with in front of you. Big abundance with energy to come up in front of you. It's you doing the talking that's going to get you the, the places that you uh, get to the things you want to do. New social life, happier life here. And I pick up here, you're changing a lot. And that even may mean your body weight is getting slimmer, my dear. In which case, fantastic. And uh, I also pick up here too, just to say to you, I think you're going to find the next sort of uh, few weeks in front of you um, quite informative, if you to look at it this way. Um, stop the old, go into the new. I can see it's difficult with jobs. Get talking. Get talking, because you're going to find wonderment. 
Yeah, okay. <coughs> All right. Um, right, okay, let's go and have a look here. And Deanne, uh, sorry, Deanne, uh, to the, the, where have I just, uh, Chelsea. Chelsea says here, hey, Phil, general reading, please, purple. Um, Oh, I love that. I love the color purple because it's a very wise color. It often represents sometimes when we have the color purple. We're going through something very, very karmic, and I think your energy is going to feel like this. You're going to feel like whatever I'm setting up now, whatever I'm doing now, is going on for a good long time in front of me. Health improvements, your energy picking up, and a feeling like, hey, I'm getting into my own power. Hey, I'm feeling a bit stronger in myself. So I think that's going to be a very nice energy for you. And uh, I think here too, what you'll probably find as well is um, energies over the next sort of uh, few weeks or so are going to really help you, really help. I just feel more motivation coming in here. And uh, where sometimes you felt like life has left you behind, you'll be doing the opposite very, very soon. Right. Um, uh, yes, your luck cards come out. I know you felt stuck, all of a sudden your life breaks and everything starts to go a lot easier and a lot better for you. So, um, guys, this, uh, thank you all for your wonderful, 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 wonderful messages. Um, right, uh, to the, okay, yeah, I've got you all there. Um, unfortunately, I've not been able to get time, um, time to get through to everybody, but I'm here every week, guys, every week. But... Uh, I look forward to seeing you very, very soon. Thank you so much for joining me. And if you need a one-to-one -one reading, all my details just there. Just uh, just uh, click through me. It'd be a pleasure. And uh, I will say I'm on Facebook, I'm on Messenger. So if you need to contact me, by all means do. In the meantime, guys, loads of love to you guys. And burgers. Hearts and burgers. Hearts and burgers. Hearts and burgers. That's it. See, we'll say that. Brilliant. Um, and uh, what can I say, guys? Enjoy the week, and I'll be with you very, very soon. In the meantime, take care. Have a great week. Thank you.